Why is love a more excellent way? Well, look at chapter 13, verse 1. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I speak in the tongues of men, in context, he's talking about using the spiritual gift of tongues, which had been given at this point to some of the members of the church. Think of what happened on the day of Pentecost. How the Spirit supernaturally enabled uh, individuals who were followers of Jesus uh, to speak of God in languages that they had never learned before. A great miracle. A gift of tongues or a gift of languages. Paul has that in mind here because that's in the context. If I speak in the tongues of men, if I have this gift of tongues and I use it, if I speak in the tongues of men and of angels. Now this is hyperbole because the Bible never records anyone speaking in the tongues of angels. Never. So this is hyperbole. It is exaggeration. It is taking something extraordinary something wonderful, speaking in tongues in this miraculous way, and then it raises up to the highest level. Well, let's not just talk about speaking in the tongues of this earth. See, speak in heavenly tongues, angelic tongues. If I were to do that, which no one has done, but if I were to do that, but have not love, I'm a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. He's saying, if I exercise this incredible gift to an extent that has never been exercised in all of history, speak in all these wonderful tongues, but I do not have love, I am just a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. That is something that by itself is irritating to the ear. Now, if you hear a cymbal that is together with the rest of an orchestra, in unity with the orchestra, it's a wonderful thing. But if you isolate that cymbal or that gong from the rest of the orchestra, and you just keep banging it and banging it and banging it, that is utterly annoying. And that is what he is saying our words would be. Even if we're speaking in all these miraculous tongues, even the tongues of angels, if we do this great thing, but we don't have love, what we are is a clanging gong or a clanging cymbal. Imagine someone coming up to you and taking pots and pans and just crashing them in front of your face. That's the picture here. Utterly annoying if we do not have love. 